अच्छा सो so, आज हम हिस्ट्री पढ़ रहे हैं और ये हिस्ट्री अगेन एंशन मिडल ईस्ट की सो वेन वी से मिडल ईस्ट सो वट रिंग्स इन योर माइंड सो वट वट इज दैट यू दैन थिंक ऑफ पापा जियोग्राफिकल टर्म इट इंक्लूड कंट्रीज इन दर्जन गल्फ ईरान मिडल ईस्ट एंड देन इराक एंड देन सऊदी अरेबिया एंड uh you know these uh, no no gulf corporation mm-hmm. yeah, yeah petro country is rich with petro dollars mm-hmm. uh and then we have in syria and then lebanon and then israel and palestine mm-hmm. okay and armenia is also part uh, i think it's part yes armenia and georgia yes uh although armenia and georgia mm-hmm. are both christian countries but these should be should be and then the other are, are asiatic countries and so they rightly i think in my view belong to the middle east mm-hmm. okay so oh, but uh, middle east wasn't like this since the beginning mm-hmm. so today we are looking at the middle east in the year is 2024 but middle east had been existence for millennia mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so and as i often tell you that you must have this proper sense of time uh, so you look at yourself from standing at your present position in time and then you will reflect backwards mm-hmm. 2024 uh, and then you are looking back in the past 20 24 years have passed since jesus was born Mm-hmm. and then before that we have ancient well, you know again we have bc earlier we had we had term um, before christ mm-hmm. and now they have secularized it mm-hmm. um, before common era mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay before common era and uh then 1000 bc mm-hmm. 2000 3000 5000 6000 and then 10000 uh Mm-hmm. and then you can also uh, go further backwards in past uh 10000 uh you know 10000 what what is it 1 million millennia uh no no 10000 and uh, 10000 and then add you more uh go on 10000 10 20000 50000 uh 90000 mm-hmm. uh Hundred thousand, okay, okay. So, so and then Earth, age of the Earth, you know, Four. Earth has been existence since uh, four, and four and a half billion. billion. Age of the universe, thirteen point seven eight or thirteen point eight billion years. Okay, mm-hmm. you look at yourself uh, as part of the broader picture. Uh, we are here on this planet Earth. which is circling around the sun which is itself self uh is circling uh, around a fixed path mm. across in the universe mm. okay so and then you are you are at this moment in time that we are reflecting back and then we are just we are not uh, going back infinitum but we are just discussing things which happened 10000 years back in the middle east why these are important and for for that as we uh, read the whole thing then you will be able to understand that many of the things that have are happening in the middle east now have their roots in the in middle east ancient past uh, so past is having its continuous in continuance continuous in our present uh, you know we are muslims you know and we muslims then we mean something okay so in this part of the middle east called the fertile crescent hunter gatherers begin planting gardens mm-hmm. so here we have fertile crescent so that is again a particular region in the middle east mm-hmm. uh said i mean this is i think that is north of syria i think 
and then okay so the hunter gatherers began planting gardens and already my students know that hunter gatherers they hunted and also they gathered so what they gathered they gathered roots oh uh, roots yes uh, you know we have like when we come across you know some of these are uh, roots uh, you know they have their fixed uh, you know, roots etc mm-hmm. vegetables mm-hmm. Uh, and hunters they hunted animals mm-hmm. uh, and then they planting gardens and by 7000 bc there was farming that required permanent settlement and then here we are we are coming across humans that they are abandoning uh, they are hunting and gathering efforts and they are getting settled down and one of the reason was that people had come across this idea of agriculture so this was agricultural revolution so we are starting the uh, we are seeing the start of agriculture so fertile crescent jure is a crescent shaped region you are looking at crescent okay in the middle east spanning modern day iraq syria lebanon palestine israel and jordan so you search the type the word fertile crescent and then you come across so you need to have a bit of knowledge of geography okay so this region uh, turkey and then western iran aur ja ke cyprus and northern egypt jo hai usko bhi usme shamil karte hain theek hai to jo hai hum dekh rahe the ki aisa part of crescent okay so okay so and then 5000 bc so now i have explained what this fertile crescent is particular region in the middle east north of iraq huh, perhaps huh? and then and then agriculture uh, is being invented Uh, are human beings they are stumbling upon this idea of agriculture mm. uh, so it's not like invention uh, it was a kind of revolution take okay, so that required permanent settlement uh, so hunter gatherers meant, meant that you had a lot of freedom so now you have you are you are you are growing crops mm. and these crops need your constant attention mm. uh, so that made uh, require uh, that required permanent settlement and then jo hai 4500 bc jo hai yahan pe ek period hai jisko hum kehte hain ki ubaidian period mm. theek hai theek hai to ye ubaid ab jo hai we are going to discuss sumer uh, to this was our original task our task jo hai at this moment is that we should go to the birth place of more of civilization mm-hmm. birth place the cradle of civilization mm-hmm. from where the civilization is has sprang up uh, so sumerians were so much extraordinary people that sometimes i think that perhaps some alien had landed here and had given this people knowledge and that that alien had vanished somewhere uh, so okay, you can trace so many things which have their uh, prevalence in modern day i mean the ideas uh, taking their origins in ancient sumeria take mm. this is soma region or sumeria okay so we are going to just get discuss some soma but then we are looking at this whole region the middle east and then mm. uh, northern part northwestern part are like a region extending from from you know on georgia and you know what else mm-hmm. armenia and then turkey etc and then fertile crescent this whole region mm-hmm. and their agriculture okay agriculture human beings they are starting agriculture so with agriculture they now needed permanent settlement and now we are now focusing on a particular region in the middle east uh just focus at present day iraq uh In, in ancient times it was this region was called mesopotamia so greek word meaning between the two rivers 
so these were two rivers tigris and euphrates uh, so you, you must have a look at the map and then uh, tigris and euphrates from where these two rivers are originating and then a region in between these two rivers that is called mesopotamia theek hai so one of the reason why i'm telling you this whole thing i'm t- telling we are starting this whole history thing is that i want that people have should have have right ideas about the exact events which occurred in ancient middle east because nowadays when think about uh, the ancient middle east and if you see sit someone who has this taste for ancient history then we come across sargon the great uh, sargon the great similarly by the rivers of babylon uh, and then so babylon and sumer and then akkad and aha uh, uh-huh, Ah no 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 ah okay no no akkad okay or oh, then you know assyrians you know assyrians and the hittites i uh, so these are the people who have who who, who occupied the center stage in ancient and then again uh, ancient jews uh, ancient egyptians also so the whole thing you know whenever we study uh, when whenever we study i i have been teaching when i was started i have constantly been telling you that our alphabet has originated mm-hmm. from two sources uh, mm-hmm. ancient egypt mm-hmm. and the ancient middle east mm-hmm. uh, cuneiform writing and hieroglyphic writing mm-hmm. so cuneiform and then you know and then ag- ancient egyptian ideas uh, So far, far what I was, huh? What I was, was I was explaining something that I was telling you about this whole region, mm-hmm. this that the region that we call present day, like all in Egypt, in you, mm-hmm. including Egypt also, mm-hmm. huh? And I mean, this whole region had quite ancient, uh, ancient history, mm-hmm. huh? So, for uh, these great pyramids were erected, I think, four thousand years. for Christ. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this speaks well about the antiquity of these pyramids. Mm-hmm. See, so these have outlasted all the generations who have been were born and died and that. So that is why when Napoleon when he looked at the pyramids what did he say? Have you any idea, Papa? Mm-hmm. Napoleon looking at pyramids. Yeah, Egypt, yes, yes. But he was a great man. Yeah, generally Bonaparte famously expressed his troops, addressed his troops on his arrival in Egypt with the words from the heights of the pyramids, 40 centuries look down on us. Uh, now this, yeah, Yeah, this was the man that he said when he looked at these pyramids then said from the heights of the pyramids 40 centuries looked down on us mm-hmm. okay so uh, ancient middle east and then the fact that uh, and the fact that this whole region fertile crescent whole region was important uh, so and then Yeah, and I told you that various civilizations, Hittites, you know, who are the Hittites, and then uh, who are the Amorites, okay. So what was ancient Susa, huh? So, so who are the Medes, who are the Persians? So this is, I mean, the stuff of history, and very interesting stuff. So to, uh, to uh, we, we are st- I am just taking these whole steps to... make the whole thing easy and palatable for you avoiding all confusion putting everything in right perspective so that you should come to know that who came first and then who came later okay so we had atar <clears throat> aman are you finding it interesting yes ma'am okay Okay, 
so and they will be wheat and irrigated and then fertile crescent okay okay so now i'm i'm teaching you my stuff so now we are talking about 5000 bc to 3500 bc right mm. so you must stay must keep this in mind that we are now entering a particular particular a uh, period in ancient history uh, mm. so you are now standing now 2024 mm. 20000 uh, 20 centuries and 24 years mm. and then we are now stepping back into a region that is called BCE and it is not 500 or 100 5000 BCE first city states gradually develop in southern mesopotamia so again you need to look at the map of mesopotamia uh, southern mesopotamia so wikipedia again again is of great help to for you uh, southern mesopotamia okay so if you want then i can look at a map of ancient uh, mesopotamia and then mm-hmm. okay but i think first yeah, mm-hmm. i i think that we should now proceed uh, forward mm-hmm. and these city states i earlier we discussed that how agriculture gradually led to permanent settlements mm-hmm. okay so they say that sedentary way of life Uh, perhaps sedentary of life is such in which people keep on moving from one place to another so now city states mm-hmm. now those small villages they are growing in importance and then population also increases uh, and and population increase faster in cities as uh, it did in in those periods where men were yet leading or leading hunter gatherers uh, lives uh, pattern of life uh. mm. so now uh, a population also began to increase and then city states mm. so why we said to say city states these were not like uh, city states these were like autonomous units mm. it's not that there was not a strict division of labor they didn't exist states at that time a kind of super state mm. uh. what is a super state or a mega state uh, uh, like an empire mm. so these were just like one cities and then these one city those these were in ancient mesopotamia with their existed city states uh, mm. so there were various cities and then these were autonomous all self governing one thing that i have uh, something to share with you uh, which will i think clarify the whole thing is that every city state has its own god yes so they were polytheists huh? they believed in many gods and then when we study these ancient civilizations then we also come across their mythology mm. so venus uh, venus gods uh, this was you know how ancient people they, they invested heavens with various kinds of gods and goddesses so mm. a similar kind of thing uh, trend prevails when we think about you know people who believe in astrology or hafta kaise gujega what is that burj burj what is your star i'm mm-hmm. uh, born under an unlucky star and the whole idea that stars they influence us in some ways think so so many people believe that star these have and then they are superstitious like superstitious are you know believing in influence of uh, so that is uh, relegating too much of your uh, self self huh, to to outside forces mm-hmm. uh, the stars are governing your your life uh. so you can so stars are governing a uh, social forces a uh, history is governing your life so the influence of social societies that is far more palpable mm-hmm. than those of the influence of the stars on our human lives theek hai और वहाँ पे एंशंट मिसोबेटेमिया सुमेरियन पीपल और जहाँ पे एक कह रहे हैं कि टू द नॉर्थ वेस्ट ऑफ सुमेरियन हार्ट लैंड रीजन जो था आकत इनहेबिटेड बाय सेमेटिक पीपल सो वी आर नाउ इंटरेस्टिंग वी आर कमिंग अक्रॉस इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट दैट देयर एग्जिस्टेड स्मॉल माइनॉरिटी माइनॉरिटी आर स्मॉल सेट ऑफ पीपल वर सुमेरियंस एंड देर वर दे वर द ओरिजिनल सुमेरियंस टू देर क्रेडिट सो मैनी इन्वेंशन like i read in one program that they divided 
uh, the whole thing in 24 hours mm. and each hour into 60 minutes. Uh, mm. So this is an example. They are, this ex explains their advancements and, and you know, in, uh, they, uh, kind of inventive genius they were. Uh, yes. Sir. The Sumerian is named after city. Sumer. Was Sumer, Sumer. Yes. Sumer. Sumer, was Sumer was a region. Achha. That Sumer was a region, and then this was Sumerian people, and then they had, they had been living closer to another people who were Akkadian, and these people were Semites. So, so far as Sumerian people are concerned, their origins are unknown. Mm. Okay. So the language is again, again, uh, again their language. Language was also of unknown origin, and then, but then they were they like they were like creative geniuses, and then Akkadian people, and who came to then occupy them. Huh? As we go on, I think we will read more. Then Akkadian people they adopt Sumerian civilization and culture and language. We are looking at the map of the Middle East, and then we have to our right Persian Gulf mm. and then we have Red Sea and this is Saudi Arabia, uh, mm. Arabian Desert and then here we have Sumer. Uh, so this region, uh, that was the birthplace of civilization. And then we have there cities like Ur, uh, Alasa, uh, Sur Alasa and then Babylonia and Kish and Nepur and then Syrian Desert and then and here we have the Mesopotamia northern regions, Mitanni. Huh? Mitanni were the people. Hittites were the people. Mm -hmm. Hittites they lived in present day, uh, present day Turkey. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here we have Mitanni people, and then here we have Iranian people, Zagos Mountains, uh, Elam. Mm -hmm. huh? So Elam, etc., Kishi, etc. So this is the whole thing. So okay. So now we move forward. So, I think that I should summarize the whole thing. I will summarize the whole thing again. We are talking about the ancient Middle East. It is not that the Middle East is the Middle East. 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 The Middle East is the Middle 10,000 years back पीछे गए और हमने देखा कि पहले hunter gatherer और फिर people began to come to live come to live settled lives and that was partly facilitated because they were living to they had access to water source of water हाँ so that is why जो earlier civilization was established near rivers so rivers जो थे वो क्या थे lifeline थे Indus Valley civilization तो वहाँ पे जो दो दरिया हैं جس کو اردو میں کہتے ہیں کہ دجرہ و فرات ٹھیک ہے تو دجرہ تو نینوہ اور بیبلون اور سیریہ جو ہے یہاں پہ تو یہ نہ نبکت نظر تو یہ نہ جب ہم یہ نہیں اس کو پڑھنا شروع کریں گے تمام تر میرلیز تمام تر اپنے جو کریکٹرز ہیں وہاں مرابی گیس آئی فر ان آئی ٹوٹ فر اٹوٹ ٹھیک ہے اس طرح جو ہے نہ جا کے اور جو ہے یہاں پہ تو جو انشنٹ جو ہے نجا کے یہ ہے تو پہلا پہلا سٹیپ کیا ہے وہ سمر ٹھیک ہے سمر کمز فرسٹ اور ہیر ہم دیکھ رہے ہیں کہ یہاں پہ کیا ہو رہے ہیں آپ نے میپ کے اوپر دیکھ لیا میپ کونسا انشنٹ میڈل ایسٹ میپ اور اس میں دیکھیں تو آپ کو رائٹ کونے کے اوپر سمر کا ریجن اور اس کے نورت ویس کی طرف جو تھے کیا تھے اکت ٹھیک ہے اور وہاں پہ سیمیٹک پیپل ہاں ٹھیک ہے اور جو ہے سیمائٹ جو تھے وہ رنومیٹکس ٹو سمیٹک جو ہے ٹھیک ہے نومیٹک وی آف لائف ہم سمیٹک جیوز کو رکھا کر رہے ہیں ہاں سو یس نوٹ اونلی جیوز بٹ آسو ایرابز ٹھیک ہے سو مطلب کیا ہے کہ وہ جو ہے نا اس ٹائم پہ جو ہے جہاں پہ جس ٹائم پہ ہم ذکر کر رہے ہیں اس ٹائم پہ جیوز بھی اگزیسٹ نہیں کرتے تھے ٹھیک ہے تو جو ہے نا ہم جو ہے وہ کیا ہو رہے ہیں کہ بہت ہی قدیم ہسٹری کی بات کر رہے ہیں ٹھیک ہے لیکن وہاں پہ دیکھ رہے ہیں کہ ایک ڈیس جو ہے ایک ڈسٹنگٹیو گروپ جو ہے کیونکہ ان کی زبان we come to know about the language of Sumerian people how Sumerian یا جو ہے نا یا جو یہ ancient languages ہیں جو وہ ہے نیپولین کے جو لوگ ہیں انہوں نے جو وہ کیا کیا جو ایجیپشن لینگویج جو تھی اس کو decipher کیا شمپولین ٹھیک ہے 
वही जो है ना जो एक्सपर्ट जो था उसी ने जो है ना जाके इस तरह जो है ना और उसने क्या किया वो रोजैटा स्टोन के जरिए स्टोन इस तरह जो है ना जो कदीम जो जबाने हैं मिडल ईस्ट के वो कैसे डिस्कवर हुई उनका एंशंट ईरानियन जो थी पर्जन लैंग्वेज अविस्टा के साथ कंपैरिजन वो किया गया तो जैसे कि यहाँ पे रोजैटा स्टोन वहाँ पे था वहाँ पे भी जैसे कि हम यूँ कहें ना कि जैसे कि अंग्रेजी लिखी गई हो और उसके नीचे क्या लिखी गई हो उर्दू लिखी गई हो और नीचे जो है ना कोई और पाकिस्तान की मकामी जबान तो हम जो है ना क्या करेंगे हम जब उर्दू को हमें आ जाएगी उर्दू जब आ जाएगी हाँ यस नो नो जब हमें यस हाँ हाँ जब हमें उर्दू समझ आ जाएगी और अंग्रेजी उर्दू भी समझ लेंगे मकामी जबान भी समझ लेंगे तो मैं कुछ ना कुछ मिल जाएगा ना आइडिया कि ऊपर क्या लिखा हुआ है ठीक है कुछ ना कुछ आइडिया या जो है सपोज के एक मकामी जबान आप इसकी मिसाल पंजाबी लिखी है या कोई मकामी पाकिस्तान की जबान है और उर्दू लिखी गई है तो हम जो है मकामी जबान को देख के हम समझ सकते हैं कि उर्दू में क्या है ठीक है तो इस तरह क्लोज रिलेटेड जबान है तो इस तरह जो है ना एक लैंग्वेज जो है ना वो क्लू दे रही है किसी और लैंग्वेज का हाँ यस ये डिसाइफर इस तरह हुई ठीक है तो इंडस जो है उसकी जबान डिसाइफर नहीं हो सकती लेकिन ये जो जबाने हैं वो डिसाइफर हो चुके हैं इसकी वजह सबूत ये कि आप गिलगमिश हाँ आप जो है ना एपेक गिलगमिश को वो करें तो जो है ना वो जाके वो एंशन सुमेरियन टेक्स्ट है वो ठीक है उसके बारे में जो प्रोग्राम्स हैं बीबीसी और टाइम्स के ऊपर हैं बीबीसी बियॉन्ड बिलीफ के ऊपर भी हैं क्योंकि वो ये जो एपेक जो है ना डील्स विद द फर्स्ट एपेक इन ह्यूमन हिस्ट्री और इट डील्स विद डीप क्वेश्चंस लाइक डेथ इमोर्टैलिटी फ्रेंडशिप ठीक है यस हां इस वजह से तो मैं जो एलियन एंशिएंट एलियन की जो थ्योरी दे रहा हूं एंशिएंट एलियन ठीक है तो जो है वो असोमेटिक पीपल ऑफ आकर वर बाय एंड लार्ज नॉट नोमेडिक एन अर्ली डायनेस्टिक पीरियड फुली शेयर्ड इन सुमेरियन सिविलाइजेशन टू देयर साउथ or they lived in similar states worship same gods and goddesses followed same artistic and architectural styles and used same cuneiform script theek hai to hum dekh rahe hain ki ek original civilization hai aur ek uske sath jo hai akkadian civilization hai jo ki kya ho rahe hain influence ho rahe hain kisse theek hai sumerian sumerian se to hum dekh rahe hain na ki wahid jo thi wo kya thi akkadian ye the ki The only difference between Sumerian and Akkadian was that they spoke a different language. बाकी जो थी वो क्या थी सेम जो है क्यों नहीं फॉर्म स्क्रिप्ट ठीक है लेकिन जो है ना हम ये देख रहे हैं कि क्या हो रहा है कि क्या हो रहा है कि जो क्यों नहीं फॉर्म स्क्रिप्ट देख रहा हूँ ना कि बता रहा हूँ कि क्यों नहीं फॉर्म वो एंशियन स्क्रिप्ट है जो कि यहाँ पे सुमेरिया में ट हुआ गॉड्स और गॉडिस वो भी उनके सेम है ठीक है लिव्ड इन सिमिलर सिटी स्टेट तो कल्चर रहन सहन जो है वो क्या है एक दूसरे का वो उनका ठीक है और जो वाह जो वो फर्क है वो यही है कि वो डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज और फिर जो है यहाँ पे सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट सेंटर जो है सिटी जो था वो किश जो था ठीक है और जो है यहाँ पे ट्वेंटी थ्री थ्री और देख रहे हैं ट्वेंटी थ्री तेईस हजार और क्या इसको हाई इसको कैसे हम बोलेंगे दो हजार तीन सौ चौतीस हाँ यस और आप क्या है दो हजार चार सौ हाँ ठीक है तकरीबन इसी तरह यही जो ओरिजिन है ठीक है एंड ऑफिशियल हम्बल ओरिजिन सार गॉन सीज कंट्रोल ऑफ द सिटी एंड बीकेम इज रूलर ठीक है और फिर यहाँ पे बींग सेमाइट हिमसेल्फ He based his power on the local Samite population, और जो है कि यहाँ पे फिर उसने जो है जाके सुमेरियन उसको वो किया और सुमर और अकत का क्या बन रहा है ठीक है तो हम जो जो सिंपल चीज वो देख रहे हैं कि अब क्या था कि सुमेरियन थे और उनके साथ क्या थे अकेरियन थे और अकेरियन जो थे और अकेरियन और सुमेरियन जो थे वो यस सुमेरियन का रेशल ऑरिजन अनोन जो अकेडियंस हैं वो दे आर ऑफ सीमेट्रिक ऑरिजिन लेकिन गॉड्स सेम है सेम जो है ना लाइफ स्टाइल है सेम स्टेट सिटी स्टेट में वो रहते हैं लेकिन जबान जो है उनकी डिफरेंट है देख रहे हैं ना कि किस तरह लैंग्वेज और रेस जो है 
आज भी हम जो है ना अरबी को देखें और अगर देखें तो या एक अंग्रेज को देखें तो अगर पाकिस्तान का कोई सपोज के वो वो कैलाश के लोग हैं या नॉर्दर्न एरियाज के तो रेशली जो है ना वो किसके यूरोपियंस के ज्यादा करीब है ठीक है तो हम यहाँ पे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रेशियल ओरिजिन और हु आर द सैमाइट्स और द फैक्ट के जो सैमाइट्स हैं वो जो थे वो किस तरह वो दूसरे लोगों से मुख्तलिफ है ठीक है तो सैमेटिक लैंग्वेज है और एक आर्यन लैंग्वेज है और स्टूडेंट लिटरेचर के स्टूडेंट उनको पता होना चाहिए कि यहाँ भी ये सर्वान ग्रेट था पॉपुलेशन और जो है डिफरेंस जो ये था जो सुमेरियन जो थे उनका रेशियल ओरिजिन अननोन है और जो अकेरियन है हमें पता है कि वो सिमेट्रिक है ठीक है अब जो है ना यही इन्हीं सिमेट्रिक लोगों में से एक बंदा अकेरियन आता है वो ऑक्यूपाइज थ्रोन एंड देन ही बिकम्स द ओवर लॉर्ड दोनों सुमर और अकत का और दोनों को यूनिफाई कर लेता है और फिर जो है यहाँ पे सारगोन जो है अगटे और इसलिए जो है हिस्ट्री विद साई जो है जबरदस्त और वो है डॉक्यूमेंट्री साई रिकमेंड ठीक है तो अगजे जो है यहाँ से अगत कम्स और यहाँ पे ही प्लेस इज ऑफिशियल एज जो है यहाँ पे एज गवर्नर ऑफ द डिफीट सुमेरियन सिटी स्टेट यहाँ पे हम देख रहे हैं ना कि किस तरह वन ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल दे कम्स one group of people come and then you know mm-hmm. there one group of people so there are distinguishing characteristics uh, which are common which were common to acadian people that semi semantic racially speaking semantic languages and then um, sumerians are no knowledge in speaking another language but somehow highly advanced mm-hmm. and highly innovative so and then acadian people they get influenced by these um sumerian people but then from acadian there comes a person who is of humble origin mm-hmm. but then he comes and then he defeats sumerians and then he mm-hmm. acadian you see or sumerian ikatthi empire you see wo kya ho jati hai theek aur yahan pe jo sheher bana raha hai wo agde aap dekh rahe hain na ki क्या हो रहा है कि वो जो सुबेरियन सिटी स्टेट्स उनके जो गवर्नर्स को उसने डिफीट किया मीन्स कि ये वॉर जो है बैटल इट वॉज लाइक अ पीसफुल यूनिफिकेशन नहीं थी और फिर यहाँ पे जब यानी क्या हो जाता है सार गांव ग्रेट जो है अब जो है जहाँ पे वन जो है ना वॉट ही डज ही इज द पर्सन हु यूनिफाइज Sumer and Akhet, and again we go for I like Sumer. detail one this map so here we are ha huh? ha mm-hmm. uh, we are looking at akad ha huh? and then this this in this very map is pretty interesting because on the right we had elam which we haven't yet discussed mm-hmm. and then when Ella people of Elamite Irish origin then come in conflict with the ancient people then we will discuss them but we should just focus on Akkad okay uh, and then Akkad and then Ur uh, mm. uh, the city of Ur and then 
and then uh, yeah and summer so this whole region is summer uh, whole region then green uh, this whole region is this part of uh, part of uh, akkadian empire uh, syrian akkadian empire or jahan pe expanded it on a large scale or subjected elam in the east dekh rahe hain ke sargon the great jo hai wo first great empire hai pehla emperor hai और पहला बिल्डर है एम्पायर का ठीक है तो ये वो छोटा आदमी नहीं है तो उसने सब्जेक्टेड इलाम इन मारी इन द नॉर्थन मुसेपिटेमिया एल्बा एंड अदर सिटीज इन सीरिया एंड कैरिड इज पावर एज पार एज मेडिटेरेनियन सी एंड जो टॉरस माउंटेन्स और ही प्रबलीवन लेड एक्सपेडिशन इन इन टू एशिया मार तो ये ये जो हिस्ट्री का स्टफ है आई थिंक दैट इज गुड इन अफ फॉर टुडे वी टॉक्ड अबाउट एंशियन मिडिल ईस्ट 10000 इयर्स बैक एग्रीकल्चर स्टार्टेड ह्यूमन बीइंग्स दे स्टार्टेड बिकॉज़ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो वी आर लाइक इन एंशियन सिटीज एंशियन एग्रीकल्चरल आर्टिफैक्ट्स हैव बीन ऑन ऑन अर्थ इन नॉर्दर्न सीरिया और परहैप्स इन सम पार्ट्स ऑफ टर्की ठीक है तो वहां पे लेकिन हम जो है ना जो चीज के ऊपर फोकस कर रहे हैं वो क्या है एंशंट मिडिल ईस्ट है ठीक है सो एंशंट मिडिल ईस्ट ओके और जो है यहाँ पे 5000 थाउजेंड ईयर बी सी और फिर हम देख रहे हैं कि सुमेरियन तो सुमर जो है यानी सुमेरियन सिविलाइजेशन वो आउटस्टैंडिंग है सो मेनी रेस्पेक्ट ठीक है और फिर जो है हम देख रहे हैं कि वो उनका ऑरिजिन अनोन जबान का पता नहीं है लेकिन जो अकेडियन है वो सिमेटिक है और फिर उन्हीं में से जो है ना सागन ग्रेट आता है और पहली जॉइंट एम्पायर बनाता है और वो जो है यानी इन सो मैनी वेज ही इज लाइक सो मैनी मीन्स का वो जो कल्चर जो है लैंग जो है सारी की सारी क्या है और गॉड्स वगैरह और सारी चीज़ें भी क्या है वो सेम है यासूस के बाद अपनी एक पार तो उसके लिए बेहतरीन चीज़ है सागन द ग्रेट ठीक है आप देख लें तो फिर उसकी जो एम्पायर है उसका भी आइडिया हो जाएगा